congratulations, of course, there to LG. Uh, another win for them on the day. Uh, this one a little bit more comfortable than the last one. Yeah, I mean, so when you look at the matchup, LG and United, just based on even what we saw in Atlanta, you expect LG to be the better team, right? But only by a small margin, and every single game was close, and the one game that United's win was when some players stepped it up and went absolutely massive. Map number two, that was our cities. Outside of that, though, uh, again, both teams just played well. LG was just a little bit stronger. Uh, I, I will say for the point of Valkyrie, I, I know Clay had a pretty slow start, and it's interesting, right? Because a lot of teams run four subs, and some teams run one AR, uh, three subs, and this game both teams went with the one ar setup but uh i think long term it might be worth considering maybe have your ar player run a sub on certain hills and an ar on others because towards the end of the game clayster it seemed like he was getting himself in much better positions to use the ar and he completely turned the game around he's a big reason why the game was close towards the end uh so it, it's not a criticism uh for his slow start just something considering like right. if something's not working on certain hills maybe that's potential for any number of ars to kind of reevaluate re their gameplay of course, not saying that's why the reason why United lost again. I just think LG is at least a slightly better team. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. That's just the map meta, if you will. RST is a big game from him, but sadly not enough. It's LG that took map number one. And there, of course, a little look at some of the scores on each hill. Storage really the big one that jumps out, 74 to 16. Uh, but of course, LG, they already played once today. They go 1-0 up in the series. We then head over to a, a game to search and destroy Phil. Uh, and that's where we saw a little bit of bounce back from the United. Yeah, I, I mean, you, you kind of bound to see this. You are going to see the United that are going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the search and destroy. I think Hardpoint and Respawn, you're always going to favor LG. Um, but a United, they have that class. They have that kind of the ability to, uh, to close out search and destroys. And they got off to a very, very strong start. And again, it kind of puts Luminosity on the back foot a little bit. So, you know, you can ride that momentum. But I think as well, if you're looking to pick up a series, the one thing that you, you can't do is give those two maps, those first two maps, should I say, to LG. So, you know, after map two, you're thinking, okay, e United, they can, uh, they can go the distance here, maybe push your game five. Well, and even just like for map specifics, again, it kind of came down to who makes the big plays, and it was RCDs. You see this one, he, I think he wins that gunfight just because he pauses. He saves a couple extra bullets, and you see yeah. Slack, he just ran out of ammo. So uh, impressive gunfight, and that was a 1v3 clutch that came out of him, and we saw a couple rounds before that, he pulls off the 1v2. Now, granted, the 1v3 should never happen. He should never <laughs> right. win that one, so LG definitely kind of gave it away, uh, I think, with just how they played. Like Slack, he could have just ran away in that 1v1 instead of going for the gunfight at all, or or just win the gunfight or octane play a little bit farther back or any number of different things and the clutch they had earlier i think he just made like the perfect play on it is right so rc's played absolutely phenomenally had the two clutches that barely put them over the edge because you take those two rounds away lg wins that game again i'd give lg that ever so slight bump uh just across all game modes really but united right behind if they make those big plays they win the game uh and alec was absolutely that guy he had a fantastic series by the yeah, way like he did. i think that all the players from united last year kind of peak around like Atlanta time because Gunless gets the MVP again. They win the event and now everyone else for United. Well, not everyone else, but at least RCDs has kind of stepped up uh, at the exact same moment. Yeah, he had a fantastic Atlanta and of course it's carried through uh, here into uh, day one of the Pro League. Hopefully you can continue that throughout uh, the remaining two days here and of course the final week. But at this point, Phil, of course, series tied 1-1. We head over towards uh, a Flag Tower CTF. Always good to see uh, Flag Tower come into their rotation. Uh, but United, they start strong, obviously, but LG, they make that comeback. Yeah, uh, I, I've got to say, again, starting strong is with Clayster. Individually, he was very, very good. But uh, again, I want to reiterate the point. I'm just enjoying the fact that we're seeing this flag tower come in more and more. And yep. I don't know if this is just down to a practice kind of thing. I don't know if it's, you know, everyone feels comfortable on Forest or, you know, it's just a map that they want to get used to. We're going into playoffs. We've got Birmingham coming up as well. Um, but E United, I, again, this was not a, a thrashing. This was not a, a demolition, which we've seen Luminosity do to a lot of teams, maybe on London Docks. But uh, you can see the, the inconsistency of a couple of players back and forth. But you're going to get that on, on, on CT. Yeah, you're going to get that on, on Forest, such as your Joes, your uh, whoever's. You know, those SMGs, they're going to have a tough time. LG, though, they pull it back in the second side, 3-2. Uh, I mean, ultimately, right, it's a one-flag game, right? Like that 3-2 yeah. win, and I think LG had like eight streaks or, or something absurd on the map. So obviously it's a close game, but the team that gets like five times as many streaks as your opponent is probably going to have at least a slight advantage. But so. uh, again, <laughs> LG, it's yeah. just slightly better. It's just right. those very small details, those extra one or two gunfights that maybe a player shouldn't win that they pull off that LG seems to be able to do quite consistently against the United. 
puts him over the edge. Well, LG, of course, now 2-1 up in the series and then head over to uh, Game 4, Hardpoint London Docks. And this is ultimately where the series comes to an end. But Chance, it's worth mentioning, this was a very, very close ending. And I think you kind of heard Merck mention it. I think United's going to go back. They're going to watch this gameplay uh, and they're going to say, we threw this away. It, it's rough, right? Because it, it, that close of a game, it's going to just, you're going to have so many different issues where you look at, oh, if we had done this one thing or this one thing. Like uh -huh. uh, at the very first Main Street Hill, United has the full setup, but I think Silly Wiz and Lights, and he was playing pretty slow, and Clayster's by himself in the hill, and there's three players that are coming from the left side, and Silly never backs up to come help him. Clayster falls, and then Silly ends up getting shot in the back, and I think it kind of is a testament to maybe some of the pacing issues that United has. And Pristini is another game where he has reduced ridiculously high engagements but he's still going kind of heavily negative and i think again he could afford to slow his game down a little bit maybe pre-aim a little bit more or maybe he just needs a little bit more help it's very tough to say without carefully evaluating their gameplay but all in all it's an 18 point game right and there you see barrels hill 91 to 2 and i think that was lg it was the second time around they just had that perfect hold where slack gets all the way into fire and, and that could be the play that kind of blows open the game or maybe if united just holds the rotation on docks where how's the final times around again 18 point game united can just beat themselves up in any number of different ways very very close but congratulations to lg of course uh, tuna day for them